Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. This is AP Physics Mechanics C. Today, we are going to go over an example of kinematics. A new sports car is undergoing acceleration tests to determine its specifications. The data shown on velocity versus time are recorded for the car as it accelerates from rest along a straight track. So here is T and V. Part A on the axis below, plot V as a function of T and sketch a curve that represents the data. So first we have to plot the data as accurately <coughs> as possible. Then you need to sketch a curve. So a smooth curve, it's not connecting dots. Part B, answer the following questions for the time period, T equals to 0 second to T equals to 10 second. A. Does the speed of the car increase, decrease, or stays the same? Justify your answer. From the graph, we can see the V is increasing. Speed of the car is increasing as time increases. So, so the speed of the car is increased because its value is getting bigger as the time increases at each data point. Part 2. Does the acceleration of the car increase, decrease, or stays the same? Justify your answer. Acceleration is the slope of the car. How does the slope change? As you can see, the slope is decreasing. So the acceleration decreases because the slope is decreasing. Part C, explain how, would, how you would use your graph in part A, right here in this graph, to find a distance traveled by the car between t equals to 2 to t equals 8 seconds. In VT graph, what, what represents a distance? In VT graph, the area under the curve represents distance. So to find a distance, we have to find area between t equals to 2 to t equals to 8 seconds. So how do we do that? We can do, we can approximate, we can count all the triangles, and uh, uh, I mean we can count all the rectangles, then we can add the rest, trapezoids and triangles together between this time period. Part D. Derive an expression for acceleration of the car. If given this function, Vt equals negative 0.3t squared plus 7t, from here we can find acceleration. Because acceleration, A equals dv over dt, so just do the derivative. In this case, it's 0.3 times 2t plus 7 times 1, so acceleration is just 0.6t plus 7. Part E, calculate position of the car as a function of time, given Vt equals to negative 0.3t squared plus 7t. Assuming the car starts from rest and the origin of, uh, and at origin of the coordinate system, so x0 equals to 0. So from this equation, we know delta x equals to 0 to t, v dt, this delta means x at t minus x at 0 that equals to that. So delta x v equals to this, plug it in, delta x is just x minus 0 because x at 0 is at origin. And we can separate this equation becomes negative 0.3 integral of t squared plus 7 integral of t. The integral of t squared, remember antiderivative, that is one third of t cubed. And integral of t is one half t squared. So we substitute it in, and this is the final simplified answer. Part, part f, calculate the distance traveled by the car between t equals to 2 seconds and t equals to 8 seconds. We already know x, so we can find the distance at 8 seconds, we can find the distance at 2 seconds, then we simply subtract those two. And that is the distance traveled between those times. Substitute your uh, time in. This is x8, 172.8 meters, and x at 2 seconds is 13.2 meters. Subtract the two numbers. You should have 159.6 meters. That's it for this question. I hope it helps. Thanks for watch watching. See you next time.